Hey everybody, we're at the 2007 SEMA show in Las Vegas. I'm here with Magnaflow Exhaust and Mike Santa Cruz. How you doing, Mike? How you doing, Ed? And they've got a huge selection of aftermarket exhausts for just about every application you can imagine. But uh, one of their newest markets and probably one of their fastest growing, I'd imagine, is the uh, diesel truck market. So Mike's going to tell us a little bit about their products. Yeah, basically, Ed, uh, we've come to the show and come to find out that the compact car market and the muscle car domestic market, it's been pretty slow, steady growth, but uh, the diesel market has come on very, very strong. Now, I also hear uh, you guys also offer both single and dual outlet systems, and uh, I know a lot of our guys, they, they like that option. Some of them like the big single tip. Some guys like the look of a dual system. Yeah, sure. We've got a little bit for uh, everybody. Uh, we'd like to think that we try to listen to our customers before we actually design and develop. But more importantly, when we manufacture the diesel systems, we want to make sure they make horsepower. Uh, some of the systems make up to 24, 25 horsepower and 36 foot-pounds of torque. In addition to the four and five that you mentioned that we also do the, the, the uh, dual systems and the single systems, uh, these are all uh, diesel particulate filter back systems, so that way you don't have any uh, adverse side effects, if you will. Well, it's interesting you mention that because, um, you know, I know a lot of guys, their first temptation is just to uh, hack everything off from the turbo back, but um, a lot of times you get some uh, unintended consequences that, that maybe people weren't expecting or are a little less than desirable, and I was just wondering what went into the rationale in terms of, okay, you know, we're going to be compliant, we're just going to do from the DPF back. I come from the old school, too. Uh, yeah, if it's not making any horsepower, take it off. Uh, unfortunately, newer vehicles, they won't allow you to do that, uh, not just avoid warranty, but they cause those adverse effects. Now, one of the things we noted is that once you take that diesel particulate filter off and the catalytic converter, a lot, extreme exhaust heat from the manifold or from the turbo actually goes all the way back to the system. Unburned fuels just tr get trapped in there, and hence you get fire coming out of the tailpipe. Well, I think, you know, I think... You know, maybe, you know, some of the more extreme guys, you know, want to do the turbo back, but with the new engine management and the new uh, diesel emission standards, it's getting tougher to do that without getting a lot of these, like I said, these unforeseen consequences and some of these issues that weren't an issue in the past but now have become sort of almost kind of a liability to, to tamper with that stuff. So it's good to know that, that you could still get horsepower gains but still be compliant, still keep all the emission stuff in place. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like you mentioned before, it, it's not going to do anybody any good. If it's making horsepower, but it's causing problems down the road, especially if the vehicle's under warranty and you roll up into the dealership and say, hey, i got a little bit of a problem, right away they start, you know, naysaying the fact that you put an exhaust system or, or a filter or anything aftermarket onto it, they want to avoid the warranty. Again, we've done a lot of research, not just to make horsepower, not just to uh, actually have fit and finish, uh, but also to make sure it's compliant, like you mentioned. Uh, if anybody's going to be putting an aftermarket system on their uh, vehicle, we want to make sure that they're using something that's not going to come back and, and haunt them down the road. So not only does it fit, sound great, make horsepower, but it doesn't cause any problems down the road for the user. That's great. So if you want a diesel aftermarket performance exhaust, but you don't want any dealer headaches or uh, warranty issues, take a look at Magnaflow.